Have you ever wanted to live in a loft? I've always wanted to live in a loft. I've lived in homes, high rises, everything in between, but never anything like this. Something with character, with wood beams, exposed brick, large banks of windows, history. This is a factory sometime, industrial, crane, machines cranking around, swirling, people running around, people doing things. I would love to live in a building with so much history, with so much open space. We're like probably 12, 13 foot ceilings in here. Yeah, look at that, 12, nine right here. It's gonna change as you move throughout here, which is nice, because you have definition, little dimension throughout the entire space. Now we opened up right to this kitchen, concrete countertops, dual sub-zeros, Viking range, serious hood, and I love the lighting on this hood. It wraps all the way around. And a lot of times when you have these obstructions, they're big because they're truly obstructions. But because of the ceiling height here, you can entertain. Your friends could be hanging out right here while you're doing whatever you're doing on that side, talking, hanging out. Now, when you bring it around, and I love how this comes up. It adds another layer in the sink area. So large. I mean, this is probably, this is at least 36 inches, and I'm guessing closer to 40. Cutting board right here, so you can do what you need to, and then just put it away right there. Utilitarian sink, clean up your mess, get to all different parts. Of course, there's a disposal. And I don't know about you, but when it's my wife and me, we're cooking, we're not making a huge mess. I don't wanna use the dishwasher, which is right here, Mila, of course. But you can do your dishes, put them here to dry for your daily things. Plus, there's even a drying rack right here to use. And if you didn't notice, this is a TV. Now, when I see this red, I've seen kitchens of red, and it's the worst, right? But this little tasteful splash of red in this kitchen, I think works beautifully, because you have the dark wood here, the concrete there, the light wood there, and then a touch of red to open it up. Now we talked about dual sub-zeros. One on each side. This is the exact same footprint here. Drawers of freezers, and everyone likes the drawers of freezers. You don't need both sides. I'm not a fan of both sides. I like to have it on the bottom, but majority of the fridge being the fridge itself. As we come through here, I noticed some small features that I really thought were cool. So one, I'm pretty confident these are electric drawers. Do you hear that? There's a little mechanism back there and I looked and I can see something that looks electrical pushing this out. Very cool. But in addition to that, you have layers in this drawer. So the thing that's furthest in the back, it's the lowest. So it's easier to get your hand back there to touch. But as you get closer to the front, you're higher. So things are easy to grab. Very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that, but such a smart feature. Now on this side, we have our exposed area for all the things you're using daily or more. Maybe this is more of your bar. So maybe coffee, wine, maybe that's where you're going to put the things that you're using daily right over there. But same concept on this side. And then you have, you know, one of the coolest faucets that exists. This turns and twists in almost any direction you can imagine and turns on just like that. And then of course you can do that with a sprayer. And this has the same style sink. So you could put a cutting board here if you wanted to. So a lot of times what this will be is this will be another surface. So this could be used completely maybe as a buffet or something else while you're cooking and entertaining. Now here we have our dual zone wine fridge. What's he working with? Okay, okay. And then in here, ice maker. Ice maker is such a nice thing to have. Then you have your Mila coffee maker on this side. This is where everything is. You pull your water from here, your beans, everything's ready to go. Now, as we were walking through here, I hit a button. This all has automatic shades. They're phenomenal. This is all in a control force system. Easy to use, easy to dim, easy to work with. But I noticed this. There is a blackout shade in the bedroom itself. So if you're really tired, you're really doing everything, you can leave that all to itself for those hard Sunday or Saturday mornings. Now, it goes up, oops. It goes up just as easily. And on these, such a cool feature, they not only have the shades, 
but they have the blackouts. So this is the blackout. And then this right here is, the, nope, that's the blackout too. Well, there are shades and there are blackouts on each of these windows. And if I had spent more than just 20 minutes here, I'd know how to work them better. As we come through, we have our second bedroom. TV right here, open, but concealed for when you're not using it so it's clean, blends in to your closet. And then on this side, more storage here. And I mean, that's cool. Letting you know that they didn't just buy these at Ikea and bring them here. These are nice closets built out. So here's another cool feature. Remember, this is the front of the home. This is the back of the home. So if you're entertaining or want to keep the sound down or want to stop people from coming to this part of your home, you can easily do so. Was this right here. So all the pull out shelves for your pantry. I bet you were wondering, where's the storage? This is a lot of storage. Easy to use. And they chose the same grill material that they used above. And you'll notice that the lights turn on as soon as you open it up. Lots of space here. And this leads us to our laundry room. Now, oftentimes I'm not going to highlight a laundry room because it's neither here nor there and it's not very special, but this is a cool place. And one thing, look at all this, look at all this plumbing, all these very cool materials. There's a lot going on here. Looks like German engineering at its finest, but right here, stainless steel countertop. Notice no cables, no outlets. Outlets as in what these are plugged into. You have outlets for ironing, whatever you need to do. And then tons of storage above as well. And of course, you have the electric panel here. Sometimes you have the electrical panel in like the main room of the home. You have to hide it by a painting or painting over it. It's very frustrating. Here they've tucked it away so it's still easy to use, but not protruding into your room. Now come here. This has separate systems for our, our bedroom, our living room. This is all radiant heat. So there's more to this story. There is an awesome system here that I would love someone to explain to me. Watching all of this, wow, there's even a separate air conditioner just for this room, should you need it. Mind blowing, very, very cool. And look at this. This is a concealed door. This was open the whole time we were here. I just noticed this. No hardware, no trim. Notice that everywhere, come here, come here. This has zero drywall returns. So there are no baseboards, no trim around the doors like here. These are called zero drywall returns. This is as modern as it gets, clean, elegant, very hard to do from a drywall perspective. Like getting a contractor that knows how to do these and make it look right is very hard to find. This door that tucks away, barn style door right here, but then that seamless, as one of my contractors calls it, a Harry Potter door right here. This brings us in to our first bath, which is actually our second bath. And look at these floors. So this is concrete poured, but they textured it. So it's not boring, you know, it's not too clean. And then this bath is cool because you have these dual doors here that line up perfectly. And this tub is so wide, this is wider than normal, but you can easily fit two people in here without question, maybe a third. And you have the air bubbles, you have the soft bubbles coming up, but ton of thing, ton of space to put all your things here. And this is all Axe or Hands Growy. This is one of the top of the line modern companies when it comes to plumbing fixtures. Oh, and look at this. So, oh yeah, very cool. And then shower right here with our two three inch lights right there. Right through the second bedroom to get back to this side, as we lead to the main bedroom, spacious, full of light, we are looking at 19.6 by 14.2. Keep in mind your average second bedroom, excuse me, your average main bedroom in Chicago is 12 by 15 and your second bedroom is 10 by 11. These are enormous by any standards. They brought that red tastefully in. These are built in for sure. Bring it right back from the kitchen into here. What a great design element. Frame television, closet right here, 
but you probably, this isn't enough storage. Just wait, come on. We go straight in to the main bath and wow, we have it all right here. I love these. I don't like the, the cheap looking ones, right? They, they don't look, this looks perfect. It looks built in. The back, or the front rather, is metal. So when you're looking at it, you can see it's gonna blend in, but still letting you know that it's there. All these shelves come out just a little bit too, letting you see it so you have a little definition in the space. And then one of my favorite features of the home. So you can see these still moving. These are all turning before I open this door. We have a safe right here. Lock drawers right here. This is some James Bond type thing going on. And who doesn't want this mirror to check out everything that's happening? I like the space on these too. You ever notice on some drawers, there are some shelves, they are, there are too much space in between. Now you can change these, you can do anything you want, but he has them spaced out really well to maximize the storage. All the light panels controlled right here, out of the way, but easy to find. Dual sinks. I love these things too. Durvit. I'm a sucker for a wall mount, but this style, very minimal, very straightforward, very cool. Same poured concrete that we had in the kitchen. Nice spacious shower with steam, with sound, with the body, with the rain head, with the overhead, and with the handheld. It truly offers everything. Nice thick doors here too. And then storage behind as well. We have the water closet right off to the side. And I've shown you everything you want to see here. We have two buttons to flush this toilet, but that's good. Thanks for watching. If you want to see this or any other property in Chicago, you know how to find us.